Hello, my name is Briggs. Welcome back to my channel, Delicious Racing. And today we're going to be taking out the interior on my Trans Am right here. And I've never done this before. The car runs an 11.8. That's the best time we've had here in Kansas. Um, that's with everything in the interior and nothing, nothing changed on it. It's a heads cam car. It's got a 3600 stall. Um, it's got 410 gears. It lowered an inch and a quarter, but that has nothing to do with anything. But so today we're going to be stripping out the interior, and let's get started. So this is the current condition of the interior, and the reason that I'm taking it out is because we're putting a six-point wolf cage in it, and so I need to strip everything out. So everything's really nice and clean, so I'm going to keep all the parts in case I want to put it all back in, but I might just leave it out. First thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to remove the passenger seat. There's two screws in here that need to come off so you can take the seat belt off. And there's four 13, uh, 13 millimeter nuts along here that need to come off. And you unplug the hydraulics and the electronic plug-ins down there and the seat should come right out. So I have all four nuts off. Now I need to take these screws off here so I can get the seat belt off. Once you get everything unhooked, you're going to tilt the seat back and there's going to be two plugs down here, one for the hydraulic stuff and one for the electronic. So now that I have the seat out, I'm going to take out these back seats. And so from what I can see, I'm going to start off by taking, I'm assuming there's one of these on the other side. There's a bolt right here that is, all, is also a 13 that I'm going to take out. So after you get this bolt taken out, I figured there'd be more bolts to take out but nope literally just pull up and it comes straight out and now i got some more money so i'm out here making money while i'm taking this thing apart both of the back seats are out um if it were me i would take these four torx bit bolts out to get the seat belt crap out of here but um i don't have the i got this i don't have the right size bit so i'm gonna have to go pick it up but i'm gonna keep going and get done what i can until then so now that I can't do the finish the back seat I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this out take these plastic pieces out take these pieces out these plastic pieces and see what all I can take out up there So I got the two back corner pieces taken out. There's a lot more room in the trunk than was back here. But um, so now I'm gonna take these. What do they got in there? Probably like a 10 millimeter nut. Take these out. Uh, take these little hook things out. These little loops, whatever they're for. Take these out. Take this out, and I'll be right back with you. little hingy things off I got these plastic pieces off down here and now I need to get this seat pushed forward so I can pull this plastic piece off so there's just like seat belt ring upper majiggy I'm gonna go ahead and pop that boy, bad, bleh, bleh, bad boy out so I did this side got it out so basically come down here after you get everything all situated pop this off 
this piece comes up, then you can just pull on it. Come on now. You gotta get this little, there's already a pre-cut little plastic thing right here. So now that this is out, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Give me one. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these big plastic pieces out right here on each side. But in order to do that, we gotta pull this strip off. Comes in, comes up right here, it's right here. So we're gonna pull this piece out and then take these big plastic pieces off. So to take these out, there's just a couple, of, there's four screws that run along here. And this piece should come right out. Took all the four screws off. So now this should just, oh, well, there's that. I don't want to break it now. Well, there we go. So now, we got to figure out how to get this off. Which, we had to push out a gate, so I think it's my I can't remember. Oh, wait. we got to get this little hanger thing off. I'll see what's up in there. So here's the little hanger that was in there. Basically, you put a screwdriver in right here and you pull it out and it comes out from right here so now i think i don't know what else there could be that's in here well ah oh, crap well this is this little mount's gonna have to come out maybe yeah the t-top mount's gonna have to come out but i'm gonna have to put it back so i'm gonna take this mount out get this piece removed and i'll be right back worked i just took this mount off for the T-tops and it slid right on out. So now I'm gonna repeat the whole process for this other side. I'm gonna repeat this whole process for the side but I am planning on pulling the carpet out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this seat out while I'm at it. Okay, so I have both side panels removed on each side. And I have taken the carpet out of the back. So now I'm gonna take out this carpet and start working my way up this way, just taking everything else out. We're getting there, almost done. Okay, so I was messing with the seat and I actually found, wait, let me flip up this little thing. There's one bowl right here, 13. There's one on each side and this back, this back rest should come right out. So I got the seat unbolted, this back rest unbolted. So now I went ahead and took off this, uh, this bolt down here for the seat belt assembly. I need to take the one off on the other side, then this whole piece should come out. Okay, so I got that back piece pulled out, so now we have, this is empty, and everything's empty back here. So now I need to pull this big old piece of carpet out that goes all the way back there, but I think I'm going to have to take the console out, out to be able to do that, so I'm going to take it out real quick. If you don't know how to do it, this one's pretty easy. So basically, oh god, it's full of garbage, hold on. All this junk cleared out. So basically, this one's pretty simple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two bolts out. Can you even see in there? So you're gonna take these two bolts out right here. This pops up or slides out or something. The money thing, you kind of just pull it up like that. And there's two more little bolts right there. I think it's like an six or eight millimeters something like that and then on the shifter knob there's a there's a pin right here then you just pop out with a flathead screwdriver this twist off this whole piece should come right on out so let's go ahead and do that real quick okay so i have everything taken out the big piece of carpet is taken out everything is just So I got everything put back together and finished up. So uh, here she is. I didn't really think I was taking that much weight out when I was uh, undoing everything and taking out the car, but after carrying it inside and downstairs to the basement, whew, I probably took out a couple hundred pounds, so maybe a tenth or two I got out of that. But it's mainly so I can get the roll cage in, but. You guys need to stay tuned for my next video. I'm either going to be drag racing or putting a cage in, one of the two. 
I don't know which one's going to come first. But uh, stay tuned, guys, and have a great day.